It was Tuesday night, and Daisy was ready to start streaming for Folkwise Live. However, oh. Dom was nowhere to be found. Oh boy. Um, hey everybody. Uh, the ambient disembodied voice of Daisy here. Um, uh, I know you're looking at a chair. Um, I don't know where, but sure he'll be back soon. Daisy uh, did not anyway. know where Dom was, but, but was sure he would be back soon. Maybe I should start the show, said Daisy. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, I think, I think it's time to start the show. So, uh, hey everybody, welcome back to Tuesday Night Folkwise Live. Um, we have sort of a flip-flop show for you. Oh my god, I'm here, uh, I'm here, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, don't uh, worry, don't uh, worry, don't uh, worry. Uh, uh, that joke is gonna oh, make sense okay. in like ten minutes, Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, good, good. I was under the impression I was gonna be controlled the whole night by the ambient voice of Dom, or, or narrator. You might be. Otherwise known as well, narrator. Well, I think you will, but not, <laughs> not in the way you were thinking. <laughs> See, it's like, it's right. like poetry, it rhymes. So we have a, we're doing things a little bit differently. We're normally Daisy and I play a game for an hour and then the guest comes on. Uh, CJ's schedule means he is gotta uh, uh, come on for the first two hours and just get right into playing the game with us, but we think it's gonna work. So without further ado, we've got CJ Guadarrama. CJ, uh, introduce yourself to the chat. Hey, um, yeah, I'm CJ. I am, uh, I guess, yeah, I guess I can, be considered an independent folk course. I haven't really done a whole lot of research in the last year. I don't know how much research anyone's really done in the last year if they don't have to do it. It's th such you know a good I mean? point. Weird question. Like yeah, a <laughs> weird thought experiment. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's like, a great point. It's and, pretty uh, chill. And, and CJ, what is it that you study? Uh, so my thesis was on a residential boarding school, Native American residential boarding school um, in Brigham City, Utah, which is where I was from, mm -hmm. uh, where I grew up. And I was discussing in the thesis, you know, it was basically an analysis of art that I found um, throughout the buildings uh, years later, years after the buildings had been, you know, the school had been closed and the buildings left abandoned. I would go there with my friends and I would see all of these like crazy cool murals um, that, you know, students and teachers or someone had done before. And so my thesis was, you know, trying to hunt down as much information on that as I could, doing an analysis on it. <clears throat> and it was, you know, all, all kinds of fun. So uh, with your background in exploring abandoned buildings, are you excited to get into the Stanley Parable? I am super excited. Do you have All right, so but do you have I want to see before you're into, what you're getting into. Here? No, no, I do not. Daisy, talk. I wanted to say before we jump in super quick, um, I thought that it would be good to just recap what we're doing for the rest of the night here, which is do that. Do that. Uh, we are we are going to play Stanley Parable. Um, CJ and I, I guess we're going to alternate turns, be directing Dom. Basically, oh, uh, this hey. is a point and click. Okay. This is a point and click game. Yes. Um, hey, hey Eggirl, thank you for thank you for buying um, my Eggirl. my personal Twitch a tier one sub that uh, I feel <laughs> called out. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Eggirl. Yes, let's Love go, it. Eggirl, thank our you. number two fan. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and so we are going to play the game for a while, and then we're going to cut to CJ's formal interview. We're going to have a break uh, at around 9.45 or 10, and then after that, we are going to come back and either play more Stanley Parable or um, Breath I, of the Wild the or switch, whatever we I go. have the Switch hooked up just in case we don't go back to Stanley Parable, but yeah, okay. it's either me and Daisy doing more Stanley Parable or we could or we could play something else, but it's definitely about to start off with the Stanley Parable right about now, so... Yeah, and uh, I will let uh, CJ and Dom take the lead on this one because oh, it's, on this it's one? the fun time, and we want to hi we want to highlight CJ. It's the fun time. Yeah. Okay. So. But I'll be here. Let's uh, let's get it let's get it popping. Yeah, one of my one of the like m most prominent memories about like our time at Utah State together is how much <laughs> we got a chance to joke around in the hallways, and I I describe you to people as a a humorous person. <laughs> I think you're very funny. We're always—it's oh, true. 
<laughs> and and, and CJ, in my time I, from being around you at, at uh, conferences, I agree. You you were a great conference companion. Oh, I appreciate it. You guys were as well. I oh, love look at us. Look y'all. at the love Aww. up in Folkwise right now. <laughs> what is Folkwise other than getting to see your conference friends on a more regular basis? It's basically, it's Honestly. the dream of academia. Yes. Right. All right. You ready to get started? Yes. Let's do it. Never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end. Oh. Yeah. And again, if you if you know Stanley Parable, you uh, you know how fun this is going to be. And uh, I think CJ and Daisy have only like the faintest idea of what's going on. This is true. Yeah. Yep. Which will make it better. Sure hope so. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul limping, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Where on earth was that day, office? Something very <laughs> peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. All right, CJ, tell me what to do. Oh, no. <clears throat> um, so, what are the options? I'm sorry. Just, the, the, they're not really options, just, uh... Yeah, just, 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 it's a point and click. So the purpose of the game, maybe it would be helpful to figure out, is to, to leave the office. Oh, to leave? Perhaps. Or maybe to do something. I don't, I, that's the impression that I know. Can I, can I make Daisy. a connection that just blew into my mind right now? Go for it, Daisy. Isn't the room in, um, Stanley Kubrick's, uh, The Shining room 427 or is it 423? No, it's is it neither of those? I know there's a documentary about is it. it two, is it two thirty six? Someone Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy wants me to leave the room, correct? Yeah. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Two thirty seven, Jesus. Two thirty seven is close to four twenty seven. All right, so CJ. Yeah. Okay. Go to meeting. Go to the meeting room. Definitely go to the meeting room. Now, 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 do you see why we wanted you to play this game? Yeah. Is this what it feels like <laughs> when you're doing field work? <clears throat> yeah, kind of. Um, <laughs> it's uh, if you went, I'm curious what the end of this hallway looks like. So, so that this hallway is very reminiscent of what Inner Mountain kind of was built like as well. Really, really long hallways with you know random, you know, doors that led into tiny rooms on each side, and they could have been dorm rooms. But, oh, hold on, you know, hold on. They... He entered the door on his left. Oh, all right. So he told us door on the left. Are we, are we doing that? Yeah. You can keep talking. <laughs> You no, do. Yeah. I will do whatever you tell me. You're you're more important to me than the narrator right now, CJ. Yeah, go to the left. Okay, but this is what Inner Mountain looks like. 
Yeah, I mean, but I guess, like, that's what any... Less 90s office building, though, like, with these, like, motivational posters. Huh. Where are are those windows? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Oh. Return to the boss, do you? Wait, is this game like Apocalypse Dilbert? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you making us play Dilbert? <laughs> what? Oh my god. So where are we going? So where are we going? Uh, find find I, our boss. Find our boss, you say? Okay. I, I don't know. I am playing this game like highly suspicious. So I'm kind of like... To a um, we need to be space. typing oh, on the computers and shit. To his boss's office. Okay, upstairs to the boss's boss's office. Correct. If we don't, if we don't end up in hell at some point, I will be very disappointed. Oh my god, the boss's office is red. Why is it so creepy? C- oh, CJ, that's. I'm gonna flip that back to you. Why are abandoned spaces creepy? Yeah, CJ. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, um, one of the more, one of the more scary things for sure is just, you know, you just, you're out of your element, you know what I mean? Um, Mm -hmm. and, and you're kind of out of all elements. I don't know how to explain it other than, you know, when you go to a place, depending on how long it's been abandoned, right? Um, nature has kind of reclaimed it and you no longer you know, are really welcome there kind of thing. And you, you just know it, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's um, it's a weird kind of feeling to have. Um, and you're, at least me, I've always kind of like felt a little anxious um, and either needed something really cool to keep me there or to keep me going, you know, needed to make the risk worth it. Um, or I tried to get what I needed and get out of there as quickly as possible. Um, and there wasn't really an in-between. Stepping but, into his manager's yeah. office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss <gasps> had been keeping from him. And so what? the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Hey, what do you think the pin number is? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Uh, okay, I, now I'm trying to like meta game this game. Wait, his thumbs, trying to input anything on the device was useless <laughs> since he could never <laughs> possibly know that the combination was too late. Oh my five. god! Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Okay. Do it. There's a bunch of different ways we can do this. Uh, I like a uh, eight four five. I like Deflores in the chat Incredibly, talking about. Oh, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad. Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Oh my god. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. <gasps> you ever find anything like this, CJ? Um What's this? Excuse me, was there a, was there like a body on the ground? Was that a mannequin? Oh no, it's just a weird Why is there light? This is so yeah, creepy. Why is Oh uh, CJ, you better guide us. <laughs> Holy crap. CJ is a seasoned oh. urban explorer. <laughs> As a seasoned urban explorer, the last place I would go is now. Oh, you should have told me that. I wouldn't have gone if you said not to. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, okay, play Stanley like you're not afraid of breaking the law, CJ, okay? Breaking the law, breaking the law. Bam, bam. Bam. Straight ahead through the large door hmm. that read mind. Oh, definitely go in there. <laughs> We're we're getting some stuff in the chat. Wait. Might I uh, might I comment on several things? Oh my god! Okay, Hold a on. handwritten my, escape. My, my controller what? escape. 
Uh, this game is so. Oh. This is so meta. I think you're the boss, and you don't want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think you're the boss, and all of your people left you, and you're confused, and you just think that you have a boss, but you don't. You but, are boss. But how did how did you become four two seven? That's true. All right, CJ. That's, that's CJ, your. That's just your. Road. Where are we going? That's just your age and your uh, I honestly. I am super skeptical about both. I, I'd probably, I'd probably go to escape, but I don't know. What do you think? Let's do it. We can we can play this game a bunch of times in a row. So we let's try going to escape first. Okay. Oh yeah, go to escape then for sure. <laughs> so you just like God. Right, so right. so glad you agree with me. <laughs> Narrator talking. The truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. We still going? What? We're gonna meet our violent death at the end of the hallway. We're still doing this? We turn around. Says who? Me? Stanley? Or me? <laughs> Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Stop controlling me. <laughs> Duplicated, Duplicated, Duplicated frame. frame. Thanks for the sub. Frame duplicator. All right. I. When is it too late to turn around, you two? Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward. And willingly confront his death. I don't know. Just fuck me up, God. <laughs> CJ, you down with this? Yeah. You down with this, no, CJ? go for it. All right. Yeah, go for it. Am I really gonna die right now? Does is this making us okay? Is it is it God? Is it a conscience? What's the difference? Are you just gonna fall? We better be back in the office. <laughs> oh, this is so much weirder. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to um, one of the So when I was in high school, I would go to In Mountain every weekend and eventually started taking people through there as well. Um because you know, I wasn't trying to be arrogant, but like a friend of mine and I have gone in there so many times, we knew kind of like the safest routes. And there was one group that went in without us once, and one of them fell through a hole. Um, what? That, yeah, they they fell just fell right through a hole, and we're stuck there for a little bit. Wait, hold on, hold on. Um, metal jaws in a single visceral instant. Stanley was oh, this is God. Every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Great. Um, you were saying about falling in a hole? <laughs> that was so fun. Before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? I, f I figured this out. This what? is what? this is this is if this is the Dilbert show un, un, unrelated to the Truman show. It's it's like if the Truman show was about Dilbert. It becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Whoa. You found the credits. Congratulations. Whoa! Oh, interesting. So, CJ, what happened when this kid fell in the hole? Did yeah, this happen? Continue that story. <laughs> I need to know. Oh, I, I she, yeah, she just fell through the hole. Or, well, there wasn't a hole. She, they were walking uh, across a hall. But you, the thing about it is, you know, those uh, those schools were pretty much like so the foundation and stuff was pretty strong but but the interior was made out of pretty cheap wood and so after what like 30 years of of nothing you know no no kind of uh repairs or anything done on it just weather taking its toll it rotted and they just fell through 
into the uh, crawl spaces underneath the buildings. Which is, I mean, that's just a risky run. I hope it wasn't like this underneath. What if it this was? Museum no, no. Of... Every... So, this is... Okay. Is this... Does... Oh, whose museum is this? Um... It doesn't matter? It doesn't I'm matter? I'm just... Is that the... Nothing matters. It's all a lie. Oh, Everything is no. A lie. It, n the opposite. Everything matters. Every choice you make matters. Wait, but the conclusion was just like... Wait, I'm confused. The conclusion was like... Hey, uh... You're just gonna die. Doesn't matter. You're already dead. Everything is meaningless. It all happens simultaneously. Let, let, let me say that was this ending. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, 47. Hey, that's my office. Because it's, it's interesting that oh, it's various, like a museum. All the various versions of, yeah. of his office throughout the game, throughout the history of the game. That's so weird. I like that there's a museum to like office culture because it's ironic to have something be so mundane be placed in such opulence. But maybe that's like the kind of like Banksy-esque, like not that, <laughs> not that funny. <laughs> like maybe it's just like a meta. They we'll see in the thing There's about it. There's a couple. It. Luomi wants to know if we can. One oh. How they both wish to be free. Should we turn Luomi the game wants... off? Uh, wait, wait. Before you do that, Luomi wants to know if we're in a muse or um, if we can talk about the scene from like a museological perspective. Oh my god! Like, about I mean, the like, museum. Yeah, I think you were on the right track. It kind of reminds me of like a living history museum, but it's like the kind of. Uh... Uh, I uh, love the way it otherizes the player. Especially that we got it on our first run, we got this ending. So it's just kind of like, hey, this is a testament to all the things that are about to be in the the game. You know what I mean? Like, this is a, a yeah. document of everything that's in the game. But it is, it is, I think it's so funny that there's a museum in this game to point out, like, the... Uh... Oh, narrator outtakes. Wait, I don't want to spoil. Well, they're outtakes, I guess. So they're but. outtakes. But yeah, the it's, way the way it's uh it kind of taking this uh thing we barely have context for, and then like divorcing it of context to display it. You know what I mean? I yeah, think and I then think like that's kind of like, hilarious. Yeah. Well, and the way I mean, everything is so like polished and glorified. I I actually was thinking a lot. So look at that the picture of the nature, right? Yeah. So we were we were talking about something that I maybe wanted to I don't know if I wanted to push back but maybe like a play in the space as Griffin Macro would say of like thinking about um abandoned space as like nature reclamation is equals abandoned space because that means that we aren't currently part of nature. Right? Or the implication is that humans Yeah, and, the implication and, is we are extra natural. Yeah, or or that we even even our productions, our buildings, our spaces we inhabit are somehow not natural. And I understand the the distinction that we're getting at, but I think it's interesting that we talk about it that way. Yeah, I am Blathers, by the way. I'm Blathers, and we don't have yeah, docents. Yeah, we, don't yeah. have docents. So, we don't have docents in this museum because uh, the state hasn't hit that next level of COVID restrictions. So yeah. we just I, I'm surprised they don't have arrows on the floor. Uh, <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. oh my God! Yeah, yeah. Arrows on the floor is is so interesting. Well, right, am also, I this? am I hitting this? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Okay. I don't know, CJ. What is what does that say? Like thinking about see? how can you see oh, how much they sorry. need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. <gasps> CJ, thinking about like Inner Mountain as abandoned space. You can stop the program before they both fail. Oh, what? And press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and be your only choice. Am I quitting? Am I restarting? What do you want me to do? Or am I dying? Wait, what's the difference? Oh.
We've been, it's oh. been chosen for us. Squanch. <laughs> Squanch. <laughs> Squanch. Okay, well, we'll we'll choose next time. I think we one. need uh definitely need another run just so uh. Oh I mean, yeah. Siege, I sick, right? Yeah. Let's keep going. I yeah. I'm I'm thinking. Begin CJ the game about again. Like... Begin the game again. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Darioth says there's nothing less natural than a corporate office building. I mean, I, I don't necessarily disagree, but I think that it's interesting that we, we set look, there's a plant wait, 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 in the right office, is it? Is this oh. office? Okay, continue, you were saying. I uh Daroth says there's nothing less natural than a corporate office building. I, I don't necessarily disagree. Um it, but I, I just think this di this dichotomy is interesting. Luomi says my cat curated an exhibit. It's behind the couch and consists of hair ties and toy mice. Beautiful. <laughs> Love that. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, CJ, what's your plan of attack this run? Are you trying to go back to the office and uh, go into the mind control room? Uh, kind of want to. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, mm. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud. Was it 2478? He began oh, wildly two, tearing eight, through papers on the five, boss's desk. 2845? books off the shelf. It's in the oh. It's in chat. Paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was... 24... Er, yeah, excuse me. 5482. No, that's not right. That's the opposite one. You this bastard. Uh, 2845. That lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. Boom. But of yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. All right, let's go, let's go. Doing the this mind control be... room. Doing the mind control room for for CJ. Also, I don't think eight six seven five three uh five three zero nine is the right one. I think that's eight a... six seven five three zero nine. It give this game gives me such cabin in the woods vibes. <laughs> yeah, I think they're about from the same time. It's interesting. This was like I a must mod. Straight ahead through the first. large door that read mind control facility. All right. All right. Read this? the note. It's numbers, I think. One zero zero one zero one one zero zero one. Binomial. Rose, binomial breakdown. Packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Is my singing really going to cause multiple copyright strikes, or are you just saying that? Are we hitting the camera button? Yeah. Yeah, what the- who are we watching? Oh my god. Oh, it's all of them. Oh! bore the number of an employee in the building. Okay. Mario, you freak me out for a second. Don't say these things. What the hell? ...on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This is the Truman Show, but it's Dilbert. I like that comparison too. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Mm -hmm. Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Oh my god. 
He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? All right, all right, CJ. But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, what? all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of the past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Or would he be the boss? Hey, that's Priscus. Thank you for the follow. <gasps> Thank you. I believe, I believe I got that. Um, am, I, am I boss or are you boss? Hey, so you said earlier that this originally started as a mod. Yeah. What this aspect of the game is a mod no this whole game was a mod off half-life oh okay 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 okay. all right go into the power we room haven't... what are we doing I, yeah. I guess can you be boss here uh i don't what do you mean like hit hit buttons can you control the people well i they're guess all, there's no people anymore so they're, they're all, all gone they're all, oh, all, okay yeah, everything's offline too okay You trying to be boss? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, CJ. We trying to be. We trying to be boss. Yeah. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end Bye. to this horrible place and CJ? to everything it stood for. CJ. <laughs> All right, turn it off. Turn it off. Yeah, let's see. blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty was it over yes he had won he had defeated the machine unshackled himself from someone else he did a good command. thing CJ freedom was mere moments away and yet even as the defeated the machine, opened, the mind control Stanley machine reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But we going outside? Streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him, for it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be. Aw, escape to tree. Nature. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Welcome to the rest of your life, CJ. You did it. <gasps> Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The Whoa. immense possibility of the new path. This is so interesting. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley <laughs> was happy. Watch out for book goblins. Says Mario. Oh, yeah, I mean... <laughs> We'll we'll uh we'll be cool we'll be cool. I got shock arrows. Um, I'm not gonna use them on the cobbles. Like a shield parry, and Chad will be happy. Um, so congratulations, CJ, for finding the best ending. You got another one in you. That was cool. You got one more in you. Yeah. Before, Definitely. uh, Daroth, maybe we'll maybe we'll answer your question during Q and A, or we can save it. But it's about doing a, a special series. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Perhaps it's simply this, this game is so fun and fascinating. I have like a million questions right now. I hope you know. My brain right. is oh, filled with like a bajillion questions. We got the whiteboard ending. <laughs> <laughs> 
Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Here we go. When All right. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. What are we doing? CJ, CJ, this is your last run, right? Yeah. What are we doing? Go to the right. Aha! My man. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps <laughs> he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Employee uh, lounge? Just to admire it? Why, why is this, like, us on the way to a faculty meeting at Raby West in <laughs> the, the English <laughs> building at Utah State <laughs> University? <laughs> It had really been worth the day right. tour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate... <laughs> oh my god, I hate that this is like so relatable. Drinking it all in. Haha, <laughs> 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 really? Coffee cups is uh, fuel, because it's uh, humans. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room <laughs> so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. This is absolutely my monologue going to like mandatory meetings. Uh, look at look at this nice chair in here. It's very good. <laughs> okay, okay, he said so we took the door on the, door on the left. left. Door on the oh. left. Hmm. Or that way. Where go uh go wait. What was on the door on the left? Um, the door on the left would lead you back to the other side of the office. Like if you took oh, the no, right. Oh no, forget that. Keep going straight. Okay. Yeah, stay on this side. Stanley was so bad at There's following directions. It's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Rude. Oh my god. <laughs> You're doing great, CJ. Oh. What is this what interesting place? Yes. <gasps> A2. This door doesn't open, does it? Factory? I don't oh, know. Oh, it looks locked. All right, cargo lift? Cargo lift? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. let's do it. CJ, if you were in an abandoned building that had a cargo lift, would you try to Stanley, walk on it? Perhaps we've gotten off on the foot. <laughs> I'm not sure. Well, really, I'm not. I realize probably. that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Hey, CJ, are we yeah. getting off or are we staying on this ride? No, stay on it. Okay. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. For her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. This to is definitely Cabin in the Woods. To let her back into your life. She has <gasps> been waiting. Oh. What? Okay, this what is definitely is this? this is definitely cabin in the woods. You know, I've been oh this is a quite a room. Oh boy. That's her Stanley. You <gasps> need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. No, what's his <sighs> What's the stoner guy's name in uh, Cabin in the Woods? Phone. The guy who's basically like Shaggy. Fran Cran, I don't know the character's name. The character's name is like I don't know, like Dan or something. Are we picking this? Are we picking this up? Uh, appa yeah. Apparently, we're being told. We should. We should you're, answer. You're being told? That's not the spirit well, of the I, game. We, okay, we are being told by a very intelligent person in the That's chat. <laughs> oh yes, we are. <gasps> oh Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pouring the bread out of the oven. Alright. Okay, there we go. Alright now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <gasps> My wife Gotcha. My wife. Oh come on. <laughs> My wife is alive! I think you had a loving wife. Who'd want to come <gasps> to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to This get is to so abusive. Something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. <gasps> I'm pretty sure it was rotary dial, yeah. Story about the death of a man named Stanley. Oh, this is my house. This is my house. Boring fellow. 
He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Christ. Uh, am I pressing six? Sure. Yeah. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now this is so... he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might the be meta... sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. This game we're pushing buttons and my buttons are being pressed, if you know what I mean. I, what I am annoyed. In his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. <laughs> But we like Soto wants the bread wife. Me too! Oh yeah, where's bread wife? And so he bread began wife. to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. Interesting thought experiment. <gasps> excited him terribly. Oh, I mean, if it's the boys, we got her, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's call them boys. <laughs> oh, I didn't have number lock on. Eh. Six. So there we go. he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. Last <laughs> oh choice. my god. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. What a great ending, CJ. <gasps> Wow. As he wandered through this fantasy world, what? He began to oh my God! Possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls, and down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions, and down another was a game with a baby, oh. and he called <gasps> it the Stanley Parable. Oh, the baby! Oh yes! It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head he relived it again. And then again, wow. and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might I want to play this game like 50 this. times. <laughs> there an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. <laughs> oh, uh, this one's for Bubbly Like Soda, who loves Bread Wife. But there is no answer. Oh, damn it. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. What? Has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets, the more he forgets. Mario, what kind of big brain math or game are you playing in the chat? Oh, four two know, seven no, four no, times. No. Mario's just Mario's just theorizing about Half Life. That's normal internet shit. Oh, I no, I understand. I understand that. I just can <laughs> never be anything but an observer. So funny. But as long as this he remains true. here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here. Watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. CJ, what am do I doing? It. CJ, what am I doing? Don't do it. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Dang it. We got we gotta get Chrissy to play this because it's a lot of feelings about what buttons we yeah, should Yeah, but we like Soda's having a time in the chat right now. <laughs> we should be we should be uh we should definitely be on to play this because this is very good. <laughs> okay, cool. So, um, how long is it gonna make us do this? Probably I know that that's. I hate it lives. because the rest of our lives. I I freaking hate that because I know that ah, uh, <laughs> this is, this game makes me mad. <laughs> <laughs> We, we, yeah, you think we get two happy endings in a row? We already got the outdoor ending. You think we're actually going to get bread wife? No, we're having bread va wife. vacuous faced mannequin wife. All right. <laughs> uh, so, CJ, we done? Wow. Are we pressing J or what? Um, yeah, go ahead. All right. You see, can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? 
How can I what? get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Click um, your heels. I, I Click your heels to, three times. I think we need to question nothing. I suppose Just... I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. The same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. Oh, God. What? Pushed a button. What? I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Oh, this is like real sad. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. All right. Uh, wow. What a weird existential ending we got there, folks. Oh, my God. Here we go. Here we go. Here we you go. You should be good on your end, Daisy. Welcome to my yes. My uh, <laughs> my static doubles partner, my my co-pilot, Daisy. <laughs> you back on? Sure am. Cool, cool, cool. All right. I yeah. It's funny that people want a Henry Glassy, uh, Henry Classy, Classy Glassy mustache. Well, because... I I should say before, but I, uh, getting into that, we're we're doing uh next week at eight. We're doing uh uh Among Us with the whole Folkwise team. Right. Yes. So the return of yeah. Henry Classy, my white Amoogus man. Yes, that'll be very good. Um, it's funny because like we've like never really talked about him on the show, but people associate him so much with folklore that they like want the stash. Also, have you he seen does the movie? Have, an... have you seen that movie? Oh, I haven't had a chance to see it yet, Me and I, I, I it's on my list. But I want to. I don't know yeah. where to. I honestly have had trouble figuring out where to stream it. <laughs> it's not like that's not like a bajillion dollars. I feel like people. <laughs> I think it's on folk. Is it on folk streams? I don't know. If it's folk on folk streams, streams is a place. I'll post that. I'll post that link in the chat. Folk streams is a place where you can watch free folklore movies sometimes. All right, Daisy. Uh, you ready? You ready to get into this? Um, I'm so pumped. Guide I me. like this game. A Guide lot. me. I like this game a lot. Damn. Well, okay. All right. The thing we didn't do last time is assess all of the freaking computers. So I need to know if you could tap into the server somehow. Can you interact with any of these things? Look at this one. What's this? No, oh. it turned off as we well, got closer. Okay. Can you do that in your own, in the office? Like your own office? I uh, yes. For this, I would like to see. Oh, uh, oh! Uh, next run, next run, we will. Next run, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's fine. So, like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get into all these spaces and try to explore all these little nooks and crannies, right? Anything else you want me to do? Daroth needs the line. I don't know what, what line do you. I know, do you know. I know what. I know what Daroth's oh, talking about. I know what Daroth's okay. talking about. Can you exit the window? Probably not, because this is a stifling, terrible office space where nothing matters and you're going to suffocate on your own CO2. Okay, well, those aren't real. So, let us move. What has happened? Okay. Okay, that plant better be fake. All right, what, next year. What is real to you? I, oh, good question. <laughs> Is anything uh, real? Oh my god. Okay, well, I guess let's go through here. Oh. What? I think my Discord just disconnected for a second. Okay. I think I'm back. Good. It, it like, glitched uh, the share, the watch stream. It's not a big deal. What's this? Input! <gasps> input received? Can you input more? What does that mean? I think that's it. Plant is sus, Flexitron. I don't know. That plant, is it real? Is it not real? Probably not real. What is real? You know, I... Uh, All right, so here's the question. Not, nothing in this game. Left or right? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Well, we went left, left, right last time. We did so left, why don't left, we go, right. Why don't we go right? Okay. Pulls yell at me. Way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the what? Can we go in any of these rooms? I don't think so. Any of them? They're all closed? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I know we can see in most of them, but... Okay. Wow. 
Wow. Can you get a soda? The plant is sus. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour. No. I wish we could get cold drinks. <laughs> can you just like sit in the chair and like read stuff? No, you can only kind of move and click. It's funny. It's funny. Okay, that's fine. Well, go through. To get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Mm, did we? We didn't do that last we time, did we? We didn't go left. You're right. Well, okay, let's go left. This is like. And so he detoured through the main oh. section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door. The music changed. Oh my god. Track. Well, what's that? Oh, this is just another way to get down below. No, it's a different elevator. All right, turn to turn to the right. This way? All the way. No, no, no. Don't go there yet. No. Oh. Wait, I just want to see what the other side of the room was like. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, okay. Let's go straight and then come back, maybe, if we want to come back. We didn't do a lot of backtracking last game. We and did I feel like no backtracking. I think that that's interesting because... Theoretically, there was not a single oh, okay, and we're just in here. Can yep. we read the whiteboard for a second and stop, <laughs> stop on all these whiteboards? Up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. What was that? Weekly we're targets? Broke Wednesday! Oh my god. I just wanted to see what the jokes were on the <laughs> Breaking floors meeting, I like that. Group cabal planning? Does it say planning? Uh... I don't see that. Group, 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 group. Office party. <laughs> Woo. Let's pretend we're not in hell. Don't. Uh, it's at the very top. The group in quotes with the smiley face. Oh, like, cabal. It's, cabal. Yes. cabal. Yeah, planning. R.I.P. Friends. Wait, who's friends? Okay. What's this one say? Tomorrow. Complete today's unfinished. Go, oh, God. Reflect. <laughs> not cost efficient what is not cost efficient standard group something get chris out of the broom closet wait we gotta go to the broom closet let's get chris out of the broom closet what we gotta go to the broom closet okay what's this terrible slides oh these sorry i'm just i'm just like so perplexed by what the if you ever find yourself in a car oh jeez okay My what are your dreams for the future Talk nature radio. pollution a boat Less Football air. Clear, clear oh. skin is me. Charts. <laughs> Monetize Tips free to play. <laughs> <laughs> Tips for not getting fired. Talk less. Oh, God. <laughs> Unbelievably amazing work all the time, every day, no exception. Oh, no. Solve dispute. Let's ball it up inside. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, these are so sad. Don't get fired. Resent coworkers for not supporting you. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, using slides to ensure employees everything's okay oh boy wow i'm so glad i'm a folklorist because i've never seen a slide like this or maybe i should say I, i'll i'll change that folklorist in this the context that i'm in in yeah, the time I was period say, in history well, that some, i'm in some folklorists i, I uh, definitely know some folklorists who who, who watch uh, and, office presentations like this well, maybe it's not like so much an at folklore as much as it's an at academia, but sure. or at an at higher ed. But um, yeah, damn, wow. What's this? What's this little pie chart? Stripes. <laughs> I am. I am. What is that? I don't know. Fifteen percent stripes. <laughs> Require more secondary research. What is hot? Profits. Folkwise is hot. Invest. <laughs> sub to us. <laughs> Get, link your link your Twitch account to your Prime account so Jeff Bezos has to yeah, pay yeah. us. The man's got money. <laughs> Make Jeff Bezos pay us. I don't know what you're waiting for. This is our business. I know. Model. Look, okay. Jeff Bezos is a lot of percent. Be be throw look, some Beespo's, ideas in the bin. Yeah, Bezos is a lot of percent. The whoa, rest of whoa. us. How about the? Uh, how do you feel about the death hope. the death sport portion in the primary radio? Oh my god. Wow, size of throw something in this idea bin. Mm, Jesus. Child trap. I like that. A stupid idea. I've been playing okay. Fire Emblem 4, and the bad guys are uh, sacrificing <laughs> it children is, in a child trap. It is it is child trap. Are you ready for this? Yeah, to, to free the Free Chris. Okay. Who yeah, Chris, get out of here. Oh <gasps> what the fuck? Okay, okay, okay. 
Stanley okay. stepped into the broom closet, but there was oh, nothing look up. there, so he turned around and oh. got back on track. Hmm. We have to free Chris. Why? <laughs> Why did... No choice to make, no path to follow. Wait, is he Just in the wall? Oh room. my god, is his body no, in the wall? Look, yeah, that's covered up. Can we pick up anything? It was baffling that Stanley no? was still just sitting in the broom closet. Oh my god. He wasn't you... even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact wow. with, he'd be justified in some way. Can you do is, yeah anything? He's literally just standing there doing sweet FA. Oh. Okay. Tear down this wall. I agree. What's are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Standing wow. Stanley, stop. Or whoever this is. Oh, it's Stanley! Oh, it's something else! Okay. Okay. Is there nothing to do in here? But the body's still- What was this song? This voice is absolutely interrupting my thinking flow. Is that part of the game? What are they trying to say by this? Is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I I don't care. I am trapped in so so many pointless thought patterns. Okay, narrator. Its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, "Oh, did you get the broom closet ending?" Wow, is this the chat? Ending was my favorite. What is happening? This is the chat being like, you all are stuck in the closet right Stanley now, just waiting. Ugly and really, really stupid. He wow. The job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also okay. Is well, now I know that. Now, when when you when your criticism devolves into like personal attacks, I no well, longer I take you seriously. <laughs> about what's going on right now. You have no argument. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and we're just about to leave because I'm dead. Left. When a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you what? A keyboard. Well, in a situation Wait, like this, <laughs> Dom, you okay? <laughs> someone near okay. <laughs> so to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello, anyone who happens to be nearby, the person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. I don't know what's happening anymore. Wait, this implies that whoever is talking to us is not a human. Hmm? It's just, am I, is it my internal world building? This is what I don't understand. Is Stanley making all the different narratives because he's sitting at his fucking desk and is so bored that like he's just imagining all of the alternative endings to what could happen here? Is that the metagame? It's unclear. Oh my god. Okay. I do like this ending. Okay. Okay. All right. Restart. That was it? That was a broom closet ending. Oh, I did like that. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? It, what? The song that was stuck in my head was, um, a soft wind blew outside and trapped in the closet. And if it did, it stopped shortly after. Stanley what? hoped that he would one day see weather. What is weather? Oh, weather is sun, snow blindness. Okay, okay, okay. Was it Death by Star? Oh, I'm sorry, Mario. I was just like blathering on about the narrator. No, it was um, it was Death by one of your regular human maladies. Yeah. Okay. Well. All right, where are we going? When go to the right again. I want to go down that. I want to go down the contraption. Hell yeah. Let's do the contraption. Let's go. Let's do it. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. No, I don't want to stop in here, but... A work of art. What but eager to get back to oh, I was, I, it wasn't me, it was do the I need, narrator. Do, I, do you but... want me to turn up the narrator? Yeah, yeah, do it just like a little bit. Okay. It's a little quiet on my end too, but enough. Well, there were three of us talking at one point. Yeah, it, it's true, it's true. Okay. 
Alright, let's go. That's better. Straight ahead to the Wait. opposite door and go no. back on track. We are going in this it, it's Contraption! Begging. It's begging us to go down there. It really is. Track. It really be like that. It's like, please do this. Which is funny because the narrator is also like, please do this. To go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, from here, it's, um, left. Uh, or is it right? What's right? Oh, you can't be that contrarian. No, I don't think you can be that contrarian. Okay. Okay, well, oh, that's no. fine. No, it's oh. to the right, my mistake. <laughs> no, that was cute. No, 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 what? The right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What, what was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh, dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Oh, my God. This The narrator's, like, this fluctuation between down indecision down and decision down. is too much. <laughs> left, right. Yeah, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. <laughs> Car? Can you drive it? No. You can... Honk, honk. You can oh. walk and press click. Okay. Hey, I don't know. Oh, we're going down the pipes now. No, oh, no, no, we no, came no, back no, to this no, room. No, no, this isn't right at all. You're not <gasps> supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Um, Quick stand. I was Close your eyes. A spoiler. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh, who am I kidding? Not keep going straight. It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. From the top. The whole time I was thinking about how that's like the cool wallpaper in uh, Animal Crossing. <laughs> you get that wallpaper. Yeah. <laughs> and I yeah. now now I'm like, hmm, oh, maybe I should like recreate one of my rooms as the what Stanley Parable. <laughs> Stanley decided to go to the meeting okay. room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. All right, let's go left this time. There's, we're for sure that there's no other way to really go, right now. Mhm. Mm okay, let's go left. When Stan, wait. Oh, wait, what? what? No, I'm, no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely <gasps> restarted the game over. Completely oh! fresh. Everything should be. Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you what? move the story somewhere or? A... Hold on. Why am I yes. asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right <laughs> here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. All right, Daisy. Right oh, on. boy. Wow, I'm excited. Wait, before we choose one, let's answer... Um, james bell's we haven't uh, done that question. we haven't done that yet james but we will yeah. we almost got that with cj but then cj decided not to use mind control and uh got to go outside yeah, yeah. so that was pretty cool um wow okay so we got we got left left right right we got four doors or six doors five five, five doors said, this is the worst adventure I've can ever you been peek on. Can into you the other doors there was a story here before do we just like before entering them, like can you just again. peek? Well, I no, oh my god. That will ever progress by starting that one over, over again. But it's gotta be Go there. Than this. Okay, let's give oh. it a shot. Why not? Oh what? Hey, we chose. That wasn't fair. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go okay. to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <gasps> Honestly, like, I miss so many memos. <laughs> I'm like, I was supposed to apply to what? Okay, yep, it's <gasps> what? Remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Uh, go try to touch the wall. Will anything happen? No. Okay, okay. I thought maybe there'd be like a narration. Well. This is very fascinating and not the way that I thought that this would turn. This is so weird because it makes you ask questions about like I consciousness. Knew you'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. As it relates to memory. Yeah. 
or uh, and basically the mind, oh what the story. oh my god okay, let's head back the other way and retrace <laughs> our steps <gasps> this is like what's the difference between like memory and storytelling <laughs> which oh my god this, wow <gasps> be honest, I don't all right this place at all. Is this the does story? stanley have like i don't think so i can't quite recall but i believe oh my, my story took place in an office building it, is that correct <gasps> hmm. do you remember oh stanley? Okay, you know new what? theory. Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! What? Congratulations! Yay! <laughs> I guess. Hard work and it really paid off, so good job. Does, okay. Oh, no. Now I have a new no, theory. I don't feel oh. right about this at all. We oh. both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some what? people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. What is fair okay. and square? I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I what? don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. Okay. Aww. Okay, here's my new theory. Uh -huh. Stanley is... Oh, wait. Oh, right. oh. I've got a solution. This time, to make sure <laughs> you don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow All right. Line. How simple is that? Lol, I can see it forks already. Um. Okay, I think that Stanley is. Oh, okay, it doesn't fork. I thought it did. Well, I yeah, that... now it forks. Oh yeah, what? Where do you want to go? I... Oh. Oh, this is the line. I see. I see. I see. Well, let's do the line. This is interesting. I think Stanley lives in a post-apocalyptic... This has been the p apocalypse for a long time. This entire building is reclaimed, See, and he somehow has survived yeah, and is remembering it in the past, in but it's actually oh, in this, Stanley? like... To destiny? It's actually this, like, wooden, abandoned, oh, crumbled end building end that he's walking through, but he doesn't remember it that way. Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? <gasps> Simply by the act of moving forward... Are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. I do like that you're going now faster and the line is getting wigglier. The existence is in fact a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, <laughs> right? Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence follow exact is inside of your subjective experience of this office. <laughs> Is this office, in <laughs> fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. Wow, well, this ain't the game I for me. What need right <laughs> now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. What? Oh, this is somehow so much worse. Well... Yeah, I guess just just keep going. <sighs> chaos. Is chaos a ladder? Is this a ladder? This I mean, is the story definitely implies a ladder. We've got a ladder story... related incident. We we've got a ladder in the game here. I absolutely this this line is a ladder. Oh wait 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 wait. What does all that what does all that say? Uh, uh, corporate imbalances, monthly ledgers, financial records, monthly ledgers, okay, okay. annual okay. reviews, oh, okay, consolidation okay. reports. Okay, are we in the mail room? The mail room no, is the, the ladder because the mail room is chaos. Oh, we're just in the file cabinets. I am, what I'm trying to do is relate this back to Pepe Silva because I feel like we're headed in this direction. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Pepe Silva ending. Wait, what? What? The office? No, okay. No, no. Wait. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? Wait. The story? Is Fuck. any of this ringing a bell? <gasps> Go there. Uh. Okay. Is there a risk for you just like walking in a circle? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Go back. I don't, in which way? Yeah. This Go way? through that door. Go through the door. No, no, no. Wait. Isn't that where we just came from? Oh no, that's our up. Oh, damn, you're right. Wait. We came out of there. Yeah, go there. I think this is the new path. I don't think we had an opportunity to go in this room before. Even though I still feel like we're going to probably walk in a circle. 
No. Oh. Ah. Oh no, no, not again, Line. How could you have done? Not again. And after we trusted you, after everything we've Come been on, through, Line. You... No, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. <laughs> this is so funny. Okay, well, wait, crap. Well, now we're definitely stuck in some kind of. Loop. You know what, Stanley? I oh. say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring. Didn't we do that? Ooh, we did that, and it wasn't exciting. Terrible. Why don't we simply start wandering in? Well, I don't know. How about this direction? Sure. Now, Stanley yes, lives in a simulation Just designed to see how many times a person can fail before quitting. <gasps> what do you want our story to be? Stop, Mario. World. Use your imagination. Whatever it's it might very be, good. Stanley, I'm ready for it. Oh, no, not you again. Oh. <laughs> Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No line. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, having Just fun, it, fun it. is this like um fine. what writing your dissertation the week before it happens is like? Is this like what editing your revisions are, is like, ah, like right choice. before you you do we your defense? Make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. All right. How is it? Is it? <laughs> the opportunity. Is it? In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk Dom, do you think that free will exists? Okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere. Right now, don't know. Means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. What? And that in turn means this is that like that the door knocker scene from the labyrinth only the an office and boring origin so starting from the right let us ask will taking the right door lead us to where we're going and since the answer is clearly yes then by all accounts the door on the right is the correct one another victory for logic come Stanley our destiny a <laughs> victory for logic I get. Do we have to go there? I guess the confusion ending. <laughs> That's awesome. Wait, what is that? What's the countdown or the count? How long we've been playing the confusion ending? Oh, oh, oh that's yes. funny. Hmm. Aww. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending, and we're supposed <laughs> to restart the game eight eight times. <laughs> that's really how all this goes. It's all determined. So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I... I don't want the game to keep restarting. I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the time return stopped? Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? Daisy, how do you like the confusion ending? Okay. I, well, it's funny <laughs> I because I like, wait, you know, I didn't feel like I, I was that confused. Way, and then this, this but this monologue is clearly confused. Double existential narration in a meta game about games. Yeah. Yeah. I hope that's where we are so, right now. We'll Mario, your later. point about Eventually. quitting. Well, in the meantime. It... Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I like Daroth, is it nonsense philosophy? It like it gets to that point, but also I guess like what's the when I think about these sort of like philosophical questions, like I always ask like what the usefulness of doing that is. Like what do we gain from knowing that? Like what do we gain from knowing whether or not we're in a simulation? Like, does it actually matter? Because I feel like if I don't ask that question, you just end up in these loops where you, 
you quit or you die or I don't know, like you just end up in just loops constantly. And it's not a very, like, I think a good space to be in. So I have to come back to like, is it, does this do something? Does me knowing the answer to this do something for me? And what is that thing that it does? But thinking like free will, Does, oh. Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? True. What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here, I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Same. Hours passed. Then days. Figure out if it's like no what's the, the what the like attack. political commentary the is. He knew for sure beyond I was that if he waited long enough, he I think it's more uh, commentary on the nature of play. They would arrive. The nature of gameplay. Oh, sure. just play in general. This will end. Oh, play in general. Will be like, well, that's choosing, probably true. Choosing and playing. It's, it's just interesting that it's an office closer. building. Yeah. Oh, sure. Now it's even closer. Like it if it office was office building is the opposite of play. Oh, I mean, well, I suppose that's true. All right, we're too Daisy. Well, I guess forward is the only Stan way. To himself, am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. That is one comfort that people rely on. Going forward. Um, can we go in room four twenty? When <laughs> room 420. Oh. <laughs> it left or like, right. Left or right. Left or right. Like, left, or right. Uh, left. Let's go left. Let's go left. Um, and we just walked by 416, and I was wondering if it was going to increase to go to room 420. What up? They're going down. 420's in the chat. Okay. Yet there was not a single Pause. person here either. Stanley is a mouse on a hallucinogenic Stanley drug as a science experiment, and the office is the maze in which it is placed because the outcome is always the same no matter the course of action. That's cool. Well, Daisy? well first, well, uh, up, up, up. Oh, no, 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 down. Let's go down. We haven't gone down before. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Let's go keep going all the way downstairs. So, I, I, the only question I have to that, um, Flexitron, is that the outcomes are kind of different. I mean, mm -hmm. unless you mean ultimately that the game restarts. But okay, sure. Do it. But that's that's game. Facing his boss, admitting he had left his post I gotta find the cheese. Workers, he might be fired for that. And is there cheese to find, or is it the cheese of? Why had he taken that risk? What? All oh, we're. He mm. Everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna use that excuse to not go to a I meeting. I'm crazy. All of my coworkers <laughs> blinking mysteriously out of I thought everybody was gone, so I didn't go to the meeting because I thought everyone was gone. <laughs> it, gave it gave me existential <laughs> dread, and I had to go home. <laughs> strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet what? when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? Having fun, I think matter, you're on. I think you're onto it. Were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. What? I'm dreaming, he yelled. I guess. This is all a dream. Oh, oh no. Relief, Stanley. <laughs> finally How long will we be walking in this circle? <laughs> his co-workers weren't actually gone. It's like a he circle, but it's a freaky job. circle. He wasn't crazy after yeah. all. And he thought to himself, okay, that makes sense, Flexitron. I'll, up soon. I'll have to go back to the boring <laughs> real-life job. Oh, machines. no. I may as well enjoy this. this it's so sad because, like, so, he imagined himself I don't know, just walking in a circle like this. It's a relatable experience, but it's yeah, always very uncomfortable. And I I don't know if the game is trying to, like, the game's trying to make you uncomfortable, I guess. Appeared. It was so much oh. fun. And Stanley <gasps> marveled that he had still not And then into up. eternity. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head 
dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking. I think I think therefore I am. Um, are we just going through like the stages of philosophy? Perhaps. Strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me. Thinking if about I, how it's describing my I thoughts. think therefore I am, and then the next and level is like. Very odd. I wondered if this voice spoke to If I see you things, and you recognize me, it doesn't matter whether or not I think, right? But there's no one here to take you to that next level. Deceiving himself, sure. Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself. Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove... Where's... He would where's prove the lady? He was in control. Where's Breadwife? Was a dream. Where's Breadwife? So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt <gasps> the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake he... up, he thought to himself. I'm <laughs> he regurgitated the red pill because he couldn't it handle it. <laughs> Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all <laughs> I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job bread wife. Oh, my bread wife and my, my cheese exactly the way it's always been my life is normal i am normal everything <laughs> will be fine i am okay whoa stanley began screaming Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who oh, no. Aww. Our poor character. character. <laughs> Aww. Our poor Stanley character. This is a Mary sad Mary. ending. <gasps> what? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed what? dead on the sidewalk. Oh. And she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance. Red wife! <laughs> she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. Oh. This much she what? knew. Everyone knows Rude. what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she Do thought they? to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am <gasps> sane. I am in control of my mind. Yikes, I yikes, yikes, yikes. Back away slowly from Red Wife. <laughs> it was comforting to think this. Oh, he passed away? In a certain way, seeing Aww. this man made her feel Aww. better. But then she remembered Aww. the meeting Aww. she had scheduled for that day. The very <gasps> important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, the rest Aww. of her life. She had no time for this, so it was wow. only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. Oh my and god. She turned and ran. This... Okay, that woman is like the nightmare version of... Like, that's like the person <laughs> who I'm afraid of becoming. Like, I never want to be that. That was, that's like, that, that was my internal monologue of, like, looking at a person who died and being like, oh, I'm late for this thing because I saw... Oh, I hate that. That was the worst ending, for uh, sure. Oh, you want to you find oh. a new... You want to go for a new ending, or what? Let, well, I'm having fun. Let's do this. All this is so interesting. Is yeah, we have Stan, yes. Stan oh, my God. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Wait, Perhaps okay, I've got a question. Yes. Um. So in that ending, the implication. When so if this is like a meta game about a bunch of stuff, doors, but specifically about gaming, um, left. go, go right again. Um, if this is a game about this was meta game about games, and this room, and woman is like out. standing there and she's like worried about being late to her business meeting and runs away, is that like supposed to? imply like you keep dying Standing as a character and over and over and, and then like you have to decide whether or not to cut yourself off and go like interact in the world is i don't that, know like... that's, that's an interesting take it could be sad again 
I, I like I like the connection Cause you're making. There, cause, yeah, because like there are sometimes when you play a game and you're like so enwrapped in it that you're like, oh shit, I have a meeting, but this is so interesting to me. Yeah. Um, go straight this time. Go forward. Go straight. Stanley was so bad oh. following directions. It's incredible. He oh, bubbly like soda. You missed bread wife. You would not have liked bread wife. Okay, let's get on the platform. And let's go to a different spot. Let's go all the way up. Let's go take it all the way to the top. Take it all the way to <laughs> the top let's there. Ride the it all the way to the top. Let's break the glass ceiling with this. <laughs> I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult. But the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please. Stop I don't know if this is a hot take or not, but like I'm not real I'm not convinced I'm not that free will me. exists. If free will <laughs> if free <laughs> if free <laughs> if free will means your chance to making choices devoid of influence other than your own, like I don't think I don't know if that's possible. I, it depends how you define it. Like I know like religiously that that could have a different implication of what free will is. Don't answer the phone this time. No, I'm gonna do this. Oh no 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 no! You oh good yeah. Did you just unplug the phone? That wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. Ha ha ha. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife and the two pledges wife. to one another. Red wife. Comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? I need, to, I need to talk to, to Satan's anything. manager. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful Isn't that what happens in in a, Wait a second. Did I just see cabin in the woods? You talk to like Satan's manager. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I just see the manager. I don't, I don't know what her role is. You're a real person. I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. Wait, and to think I've been a real person? Is the implication so that if you just if you follow him, you're not a real person? Or if you... Mm, you what's the... Or that if you play games, like, all the time, the without quitting, you not you're not a real person? Situation? Well, Rude. I wouldn't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision-making in the real world. Please observe this helpful <laughs> instructional video. Choice. Uh, real world. It's the best oh. part of being a real person. But if you wow, I love learning you can also on my off time. Me too. For example, <laughs> in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. Mm -hmm. He could spend years helping improve the quality of okay. life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Oh, yikes. Systematically <laughs> set fire to every I don't know what's happening. A 30 kilometer radius of his house. <laughs> Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, I just got white savior vibes. Sense. That's why I said yikes. No time <laughs> well, and then he, his other choice was be a white savior or be a murderer. If you find <laughs> yikes, yikes, yikes. A person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, I had to choose. Is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why Fork. you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner <laughs> and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4 30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. What could that possibly mean? <laughs> Good morning. My goodness. Wait, oh. My goodness. Making choices on a regular basis is the That's best me. part to a healthy decision-making process. <laughs> Powerful Most energy in that photo. Making at least eight choices per day. Mm. Do you oh make man, more okay, good. Less? I'm writing all this down. How many choices Finally, do you make, if Daisy? You begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you oh, ever probably make more than eight, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, you were a real well, person. I guess I'm a real person. I make a lot of choices. And the feeling should subside. At this but time, who's really the making them? Will guide you in an exercise and under what context? The material covered in this video. You're right, that is Steve Irwin. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. <laughs> you're properly informed on good decision making we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been this way please this game like absolutely like 
thinks that being a quote unquote real person means that you're like independently making decisions, oh, which I don't know if I have you jumping off the platform and dying. necessarily agree with like uncritically. Through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Uh, true. Very true. Office space. In, office spaces are not well equipped to deal with the reality. Yeah. <laughs> oh. True. Is this game about Steve Irwin's afterlife? I really hope that Steve Irwin has to deal with none of this. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> in his afterlife. Oh my God. I hope there, Steve Irwin is living a blissful the animal, to the happy the time. Resolution once again. Hope he's still doing the show in heaven. In the real yeah, world. yeah, doing the live show for the public. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my hmm. lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> All right. Should we do it? You tell me, Daisy. Let's let's do what the narrator door says. Left. Door on his left. Yeah. Let's let's try to do like from this point to just do Have like everything one. the narrator says. Yeah. yeah. See what happens. I don't know if it'll work based on the fact that we like messed it up earlier, but Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any what? life. Shocked, unraveled, Why is it green this? Was it green last time? Nope. It was red last time, right? He saw the door and... with a voice receiver next to it. What? Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions, and beyond all uh, probability, business strategy. Passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark one one five. Oh. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only Night one Shark one one five. Been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He All right, let's do it. Sharp breath, Ready? <gasps> Night Shark 115. Night Shark 115. Let's do it. Wait. Night Shark 115. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. <gasps> he spoke nice. it into the receiver right there on the wall. Night Shark 115. Is you, your, like, I love my bosses. I am the most expensive sorry, boss. Problem? <laughs> you didn't miss here, me, did you? Wow. Please I want to make that my profile picture. Do it. I am the most story. expensive boss. Step. I will. Night Shark 115. I wonder okay, if the mic is not on Discord. It, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating There's to no bring money. you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. What? I asked you for this one what? single thing. It might be because it's hooked up to Discord. Kind of no, I, there is no mic input for this game. He knows oh, oh. <laughs> to take story seriously. If you didn't Car want to see Car what Car I had to show you, Mount then Mount why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you lilies by clawed money. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. Who's oh? Is Anger. Exactly as <gasps> that means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure okay. you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Door on his left. Well, are we going to turn back into the same thing? Okay, go on the right, because if it... I don't want it to end up the same way last time. No! But Why did you do that? Quickly. No! <laughs> back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. No! Well, it's okay. Uh... Sure. Oh. Ruined. You, I can't believe <laughs> after everything we talked about that you. My story. You've destroyed my work. 
Why? For what? What did you get out of that? <laughs> what did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worth this now. And what am I supposed to Oh my to god. Do? Even if there were a I do to love this. Me, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now what? incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that language. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its oh, impossibility no. forever. Oh, I couldn't <gasps> Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all GG's if you have existential dread in the chat, what up? No, I have to. I have to shut the oh, game down. Oh boy. I have to. I have to. Have to. Oh. Oh my god. Dang, I think we're I think we're terrifying our uh, our followers who are like, man, you know, Breath of the Wild is nice. <laughs> I could use some some Breath of the Wild right now. Instead, I'm, we're subjecting them. I'm here. I'm still what? Here, here in this pile of rubbish, with you, you, who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you've run it into the ground. What did you think that would be funny? You just had to see. Yeah, this is dissertation you, writing vibes. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. He knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. Oh my god. It hadn't even occurred to you, had it? There's <gasps> a world outside of you. You're a child. Oh boy. Uh -oh. My story. <laughs> If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have this would have been a funny uh, first one to do. I know, I know, I know. I tried so hard. <gasps> that would have been a funny first one because it's like, what? <laughs> There's a what? <gasps> what? Oh, have you seen Enter the Void? No. Oh, you gotta put that on your movie list. It's not well. It's not from twenty, whatever nineteen or whatever that list is from. But um, Enter the Void is about. I I kind of want to say it's about reincarnation, but really it's about like. It's it's this weird third first person kind of omniscient like storytelling vibe but it's not in a traditional way it's like you take the body of the spirit of a person who dies pretty early on in the film and you like follow the film like the person's through their through their life right after they die like sort of recurring like as their soul it's very interesting but there's also like this there's like a drug element too so it's sort of like are you dead or is this just like what what it's like to take dmt <laughs> oh wow okay but it's it's film it's filmed in a really cool way though i, w I feel like i want to watch it again because i have more like knowledge of the religious references that they're making in the in the text or in the in the text in the sure. film but it's kind of like this where you end up looking in a mirror but hey so we did see over the shoulder stanley in like some of the beginning scenes right like right when we first started yeah. playing yeah Take as much time. so we do know what stanley looks like which i think is interesting that we take this form of the we don't see stanley's face but like we take the form of this like you know what you would imagine boring business dressed white guy yeah. basically daisy can, we do my, white guy. can i show you my favorite ending Yes. I'm so ready. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's do, do it. it. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? See if I... Stanley decided to go to the think meeting. I know what I'm doing. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I'll get, I'll get you to it, and, uh... I'll set you up. I'll set you up for it. Okay, okay. 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 Sounds door. good. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Just to admire it. Stanley Do people ever say stuff to you that's stomach, like, but that's funny because that's business. like definitely Stanley what a folklorist would say? Yeah. Head. And what do you think? Usually for me, it's about like certain perspectives Stanley on so like people's agency or collaboration or like uh, even even conversations like this, like philosophical conversations about like the meaning of life. Like there is a, a tone that a lot of maybe not all, but a lot of folklorists are like trained to see with. And like I don't sometimes I think it's like me thinking it, and then someone will be like, "That was a really folklorist thing to say," and I'm like, "Whoa, it's that's true." I think my thing it's with not... like that's what a folklorist would say is always like comparing 
something very every day am i tying it into like it's like network of like traditions and like uh you said agency like delivery choices yeah. Like that. yeah 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 and so or they i go off I about wonder... a common thing being being complicated yeah yeah and i wonder like how often i'm like that gets associated with like the person that daisy is mm -hmm. versus like by just anybody versus like the person that folklorists can be or i i don't know like this makes me ask all of these like meta questions of like yeah it, is it me that's like has that opinion or is that the p opinion that i've been shaped to have by my by my field of interest you're officially and playing then, this like, game right if you're talking about yeah well i yeah absolutely and i don't know i just i think that this is so interesting anyway continue. are you ready we you ready? get on the platform okay is there a way to go down on this platform it, you die if you just you just you, walk off yeah, yeah you just walk off and die i realize that investing in your trust well that's not a good ending difficult but the fact okay. is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time this is that true been neglecting Stan. Someone you what? Really? I was in the middle nice. of something. Do you have zero <laughs> consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me right, a bro. Now listen carefully. This is important. This manipulation Stanley is too much. Through the red door. Uh, uh, the red pill or the blue pill? Oh god. Does that correlate? It says walk uh -huh. through the red door. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walk uh -huh. through the red door. Oh boy. I still don't think we're communicating properly. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. Uh oh. I, don't, I like the tattoo gun sound. Right, fine, That's got to be what that foley it. sound is, right? Oh, sure. So badly what's out there. The electricity buzz. Lies at the end of this mm, road. It's a good sound. Chosen world, don't let me stop you. All right. You let's see? get into my Oh. Here. Let's get into it. It's my what? favorite section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Oh, Broken frick. Rooms, exposed developers. <gasps> is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Oh my god, I this has to be like a call out to all of the speedrunners who like to like use glitches, right? I think so. <laughs> Stop breaking the story I created. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me, you've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what, let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. Uh, yeah, simple. unreliable narrator is game designer. Really sure. Yeah. Ahead of where we were. Oh, oh, oh. Ahead, look at this. Take it for a spin. I right, let's do it. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. <laughs> tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you <laughs> just do two zeros the whole one? Oh, you mean one? Feel free yeah, do one. Say it sucks. <laughs> critical feedback here. Critical feedback on a numerical scale. Oh no, oh, well, this is like a teaching I mean, I evaluation. You had reservations. You saw oh my God! Could be oh. <sighs> itself mechanically and artistically, but a one—that's not even helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? You're being rude. Uh, the, I'm being the student right now. That's like I'm giving you a one because one time you were yeah, rude. On I'm giving you a one because <laughs> I'm giving you a, uh, a one for your discussion section because I didn't like lecture. That's my least favorite. I'm just like, oh come oh. on. Yeah. I didn't teach that one. Yeah. I'm giving you a one because you wore a tank top to class. That's what somebody said to me once. I know I wore a tank top to class. <laughs> I know. I, I probably shouldn't have, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> I just, I'd be making my own choices like that. <laughs> uh, damn. <laughs> this is you. <laughs> <laughs> How come you get a better ranking system than I got? <laughs> Right, Mr. Ambi ambient voice. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please.
a three. I am offended, but neutrally. <laughs> hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity oh, to give no. it some play testing. You wouldn't mind Is taking a look at it, would you? The Perfect. meta game? Let me boot it up. Oh my god. How many endings are there in this game? Oh uh, my god, uh, it's a ton. Uh, oh, I thought we were gonna restart. What is this baby? What? Press the button to move him back to the right. And if he reaches the fire, oh no. Fail. It's a very meaningful I know what this is referring to. Desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the Jesus will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game Having fun, I of course. I'm so glad you like this. I so we knew you, you would. Yeah. <laughs> play to make sure it's effective. You hear that? Sure to keep notes on your experience. Okay. So you got to make sure it's Oh, what? You gotta keep baby away? For four hours. Oh, no, just let that baby burn. What? Baby. You're gonna let the baby die? Sorry. You can't, you can't put up with this for four hours if it means saving a baby? <laughs> this is a game, dog! This is a game, and you gotta save the baby for four hours, Daisy. <laughs> All right, I'll let the baby die. I'll let the baby oh, die. Oh, let, let it go. <laughs> Don't worry, everybody, I'm not having children. I can't do it for four hours. This is a game. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, uh, despite don't know what you, know, definitely not. I don't. Hate babies. I just hate. I just hate this narrator. Improve the experience for you. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. I like this. Thank you for playing. Aw, I like this weird like uh relationship we've developed. I know. This one's my favorite. Which is. It's so weird because. Well, even in all of these, because it's we're not actually fil building a relationship with the narrator. It's just all programmed. Like it'll work. Not re none of this is real. <laughs> what is real? Isn't that great? Isn't this a great I ending? Like yeah, I like. I like right. this. Oh, what? new game! New game! He At last, <laughs> one thing you desire, a game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But Hilarious! Enough, what? Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. All right, do so you gotta go punch a tree? I only create to fulfill a greater artistic go purpose. Go punch that tree. Stanley, I'm going to build a house. Go punch that tree. <laughs> He's behind. Oh, oh my God! Is Stanley here, O'Brien? No. Aww. See, what does it need? Okay, Stanley's I, here, yes, O'Brien. This was just to you heard it here. Enough. Yes, it's complete. <laughs> I made it, Stanley. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Excuse oh, me, you didn't even punch a tree from the outside to make that freaking door. Space. You just you just Step made it. And make yourself comfortable. Oh. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better. Oh, wow, this is like my That's my monologue when I'm like ten years old playing this game for the first time. <laughs> wow, <Well, laughs> this home is grand. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Yes. Punch tree. Punch. Punch. Will not let you. Oh, you no, gotta go we down. Gotta go mining. Oh. oh. Oh my, it looks like you can't mine without a pickaxe. A light. You need a torch. Could have punched a tree for that. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is far more open ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more uh, narrow and linear. Something I love this. Utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Minecraft is so funny Even because you can play like a bajillion ways. Okay, new game. In the same way you can with Stanley Parable, except that the game is also kind of. It's it's what you. This is so. It's such a good comparison to have Minecraft and Stanley Parable. Here's here's my here's my TED talk. Um, they're both games that don't really have a point because the point is the point is what you yes, make them into. I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. What? You trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's insane. Wait, is this Half Life? I couldn't have done it any other myself. Is it? What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay. This is a game I haven't played. Let's go for game I've played. What the hell this is. <gasps> uh. Chat, don't tell me. Oh, wait. I know what this game is. 
This yeah, I need to portal. replay this too. This is Portal. We gotta play Portal um, and talk about like, like music and sound design or something. Oh my god, this is a very fun playthrough. I had no idea. We were <laughs> CJ and I were choosing all the wrong doors. <laughs> I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games. <gasps> and I highly Rude. doubt you're any wiser for the experience. Which is why... I feel wiser. What? Oh. <gasps> 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 oh, what's more terrifying, not having a narrator? This is the end. Oh, this is what I wanted CJ to see. <laughs> oh, shit. This is... Oh! I hope CJ's in the chat. CJ, if you're in the chat, check it out. Oh, my God. What? Uh, chat, what's creepier? Uh, having a narrator or not having a narrator? And I know, I know, Dom and I are the narrators right now, and sure. you can be really meta about it, but that's not the question I'm asking. Wait, are we gonna see Door 420? <gasps> oh! No, it's gotta be this so, I hope so. It's gotta be Door 237. Why are we on the fourth floor? Nothing matters. It doesn't matter found. if we're on the fourth floor. Oh! If what he wanted was to be the leading man gone. in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. A cake is a lie. To this world. Everything is cake! Yes, I'll be back. Apples for science. Day. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close. Then I'll be back. The end Aww. will be here soon. Mm. Very soon. Mm. Aww. I can wait. Um, Daroth, I kind of agree. Everything matters. I, this is, okay. I guess I go back and forth with this question of like, what, what doesn't, doesn't matter. I hate Mondays. Because. <laughs> oh. <laughs> The, the cool thing to say now is, no, you just hate capitalism, which is basically turned into about as cool as saying, I hate Mondays. <laughs> oh, yeah. Opinion. Oh, I was like, what? Oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> you don't hate Mondays. You hate capitalism. Yes. <laughs> you know what they say about Mondays. Capitalism. Um. Yeah. Uh, Daroth, I think, I kind of also think it all matters, but in like a lot less weight than we realize because i think what matters is is all of the co like this is making me get into a little bit of like affect theory do you want me to switch it to mod talk for this so they can see your face they can we can i don't know okay so we're at we're at 11 30 we might as well switch to mod talk because i also think we need to address how this game is folklore like how we can connect go it for it go too. for it so like okay here let me turn my camera well i i had only pitched it as this game is folklore uh uh, as, uh, what do you call it? This, this game is, this game is Abandoned Spaces. Uh, because CJ yeah. was on. Knowing there was so much more, but not wanting to spoil it. Yeah, uh, which is true. Spoil anything. Hold on, I'm gonna try which to count true. up, I'm gonna try to count up how many endings are on this not a walkthrough I'm using. Yeah, um. I'm flipping this back to just chatting so that we get we get more focused because I figured out how to do the mod thing finally. Okay. Ooh, ooh, so, ooh. <laughs> ooh, ooh. I think who did we make friends with along the way? The narrator? I think the narrator hates us. Baby? No, we killed baby. We killed baby. Baby doesn't like us. And the I believe, woman I never liked, if you, uh, The woman saw us oh and God. just was like, bread wow. Wife, bread wife. <laughs> bread wife saw us and was like, wow, dipping out here. I, I believe okay, if you successfully uh, uh, stop the baby from in crawling the into the fire for four hours, uh, the narrator tells you, like, wow, aren't games art? Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> I do like that. Um. Oh, we didn't do that. We actually never did the ending. I'm looking at the flow chart. We never did the ending where we listened to the narrator the whole time. Oh, should we do that? Well, should we do that? 
Maybe that'll be. Maybe that can be the maybe last thing we do. Yeah. Okay. I'll let, let you. I'll let you get this out now. But yeah, yeah. With I CJ's, guess... I'm looking at CJ's ending, <laughs> and it looks like he took it all the way to. Oh no 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 no! My bad, my bad. That is the red ending. That is the red ending. That is okay. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah. I thought because yeah because then we got to the end and then um. The freedom ending. I guess the first time I played it, I turned the machine on instead. Well, That's it's also I interesting think. that like, like freedom means nature. Like, okay, so, Daroth, here's my answer to your, to or to your statement, or maybe I'm gonna. You didn't really ask a question. You, <laughs> you, said, you said you know. You said you know. So I'm gonna interpret that as. Let's a question, see what we know. It all matters, but none of it matters. You know, I think, and maybe this is because I'm like super entrenched in environmental folklore stuff. Who go off? But, like, I'm getting to this point where like. None of it matters if you think that everybody is super, if you think, you know, like, like really individualistic worldview that's like, you don't, you can only be responsible for yourself and your choices that you make and you can control your actions and you can't really control the actions of others mm -hmm. and you exist uh, in, in this sort of like interpersonal bubble in which you can have individual reactions with other people, but okay sure i uh have thought i i find that very lonely i guess and not it's not the reason i'm part of folklore it's not it's not a it's not a uh a view of the world that i connect with now in my life i think when i was like a really edgy teenager i was like yeah nothing matters <laughs> like, i don't i don't i don't owe anybody anything oh, I have yeah. no responsibility to the world yeah whatever and it's like now i kind of like roll my eyes and it's like whatever but i think mm -hmm. like you're right that nothing ma like i don't think that our individual daily actions with each other necessarily matter to this like to the largest picture of the world however i think like our collective micro actions become a force that does matter and that's like if we can get more for maybe like a good example would be how people talk about like doing nice things make us an echo chamber of niceness or something this is like getting into affect theory where like if you bump into someone on the street like maybe they see the world differently or whatever which i know is not a super good ex explanation of affect theory because it's like kind of hard for me to even grasp and understand dom i don't know if you have any experience with this at all either. not really no Okay, it's it's kind of like um, if if your interactions with people on this like super micro level, n in a non emotional way, like influence them. So you can like, yeah, care theory too. Well, so this is interesting because affect is like tries to tries to divorce itself from emotion, where like you could bump mm. into someone on the street and then they could turn and go in a different direction, or like the wind could be hitting them in a certain way and like make them smell a shop that makes them realize that they actually want to to eat the bread that's that's cooking in the bakery or whatever. And so and I don't I don't even know if that is exactly right, but I do think that there's like a ripple effect of the stuff that we do every day and in and, and these like larger swaths of that ripple that matters. So in a way you're like micro interactions matter, but I don't know if like you as a person is going to have all that much effect on the global world. Like people aren't going to know who you are. The only people that matter are the people who are around you that you can kind of have this like rippled out effect with that like extends throughout your network and then their networks and then other networks so like we say we're folklorists so we're part of this like big network and like what we do as folklorists matters not just to our networks of folklore but also to the individuals we we work with and the other like parties that aren't folklorists that we spend time with like our families or whatever and then like us being a folklorist bumps into them and then they think about the world differently and all of these kind of like things but i don't think that like we are as like individual people matter in the like big picture sense but our collective action does does this make am i am i just that like, was a good that was a anything? good uh so i think that was a good summary james i'm building for the two okay. and sub no i think that was yeah. a good summary i think i think uh uh yeah uh, and so and so big, i guess like Daisy? to tie this back into that's big <laughs> that's, i guess like that's... tie it back to think about 
the Stanley parable, like, I don't know if I actually love it per, per se or like the message that I'm I'm sensing from it, which could be wrong. And again, like, this is my like first playthrough with it. But it seems really fixated on this idea that like you as an individual don't matter and, and that choice does or doesn't matter i, I don't oh, know let's I, go, I might let's be, go, I might be getting that wrong ah uh, yeah thank you Luomi. all right, all right. Luomi so me cheering. no leo Luomi me cheering i think that means that uh oh, the daisy's shit. going for it i think that means the daisy's on thank the right you. track <laughs> okay thank you Luomi's at the top of the leaderboard cheering for daisy's uh <laughs> thoughts on individuality versus collectivism well i'm like so i i guess like the stanley parable makes sense to me and like in this in this like exploration of philosophy that's super individualistic but i get it and the, but then again like you have this relationship with the narrator but the implication is that the narrator's kind of like in your head mm -hmm. or 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 it could be the game company like telling you how to play the game because a lot of times um maybe that's the point i, I haven't played portal but maybe the mop or the um Wow, I just almost said Mothman. The Mothman? <laughs> the what Minecraft... are the portals about? <laughs> Not Mothman. The Minecraft reference is interesting because it's like the one game that doesn't tell you at all how to play it. And so, like, the Stanley Parable is very, very aggressively and deliberately telling you how to play it the whole time. And you can choose to play it that way or not. But Minecraft, it, it doesn't tell you how to play it. And again, you can, it chooses you choose how to play it or how not to play it. Yeah. And it's like the same thing the whole time. Yeah. I, I so Daroth's comment there about a uh, uh, Stanley parable being uh, a game about the reactivity of game player interactions. And Daisy was not actually the one pressing the buttons. That is a very, that's something I thought Ooh. about as I was doing some of the end, uh, as we were getting some <gasps> of the endings. I'm like, Daisy's reacting to this as if they are playing. However, yeah. I am the one playing and Daisy is experiencing. It was like, I, I was sitting there like, this is so, there's so much happening on so many levels. Oh. Oh, hey, that is a, okay. Well, uh, yeah. Well, hold, hold, before we get to Anna's comment. Yeah, go It's interesting that this is called a parable. <laughs> yeah, it's a par. like, is it actually a It's a, it's a generic narrative. distinction a folklorist would make. Yeah. 